Hi, this is Jeff. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the Canvas mockup templates. Um, I am working on a PC and I have uh, Photoshop CS6 uh, open. I'm just going to click on File and then Browse to the Canvas mockup templates. Uh, I'm going to select uh, this horizontal one as a demonstration. If you see this error, that just means that uh, the fonts that are being used in the instructions layer are missing. That's perfectly okay. Just click OK. And I'm going to go open uh, an image that I want to use that is high resolution, basically about 4,000 pixels uh, wide by almost 3,000 uh, in height. Um, the higher the resolution, the better. You can scale these down, but if you start with a small image, it's not going to look good. So start with something that's pretty high resolution. I mean, even if this is 72 dpi, it's uh, fairly large in you know width and height and pixels. So I'm just clicking on Control A to select this entire image and selecting Control C to copy it. I'm going to go back to my template, and I'm going to create a new layer above um, this mock-up layer and I'm just going to paste that image in and I'm going to zoom out. I'm clicking Control T to resize the image. Zoom back in so I can get a better view. I'm going to click Enter to save those changes. Um, if you want a better view of where this image is being placed, you can change the opacity of template and instructions to see where the image is being placed on the canvas. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to select layer again and then I'm going to um, click on actions, this actions button. And uh, I've already loaded this, the automatic smart object updater. Um, you'll want to do that. It's in the uh, same folder as these templates are. Um, basically to load that you'll want to click on this drop down button and click load actions and then load that uh, action in you'll just click on double click on that and it'll load those in this loads this here so once you have the layer selected basically all you have to do is click on that smart um, the automatic smart object updater and click uh, this play button and I'm just gonna move this out of the way so you can see what happens click on play. I'm basically clicking on this little play button right here. I'll just move this to here so you can still see. Well, once you click play, it'll um, work through the image and create all those sides for you. Let's move that out of the way again. So if you click on the template and instructions um, eye icon to make it um, non-visible. You can see that it's created the the canvas wrapped uh, photo for you. And that's basically it. Um, with this image, right now it's at uh, 2750 pixels wide so you can um, resize that down for your blog or uh, however you want to do that. The resolution is at 240 so if I wanted to save this for the web, which is where it's going. You basically want to go to File, Save for Web, and you can see that it's pretty large. So, um, <clears throat> depending on the size of your blog, um, if you're posting this to your blog or your website, you know, it's probably going to be somewhere in the 800 pixel range. Um, and you can see that it's resized that down. Um, I have it at JPEG on medium format. You can obviously select high. Right now it's at 24K and it looks pretty good. You can even increase that to you know almost 40K, which is still pretty small in file size. Uh, JPEGs looks the best. Um, JPEGs look the best for photographs, of course. So 
I always select JPEG and usually select high or medium depending on how large the file size is. Um, and that's basically it. You exp you know click on you probably can't even see this right now. Let me resize that. Basically click save and save that to your desktop or wherever you want and uh, then you can upload it. Um, if your blog is say somehow bigger than 800 pixels then um, you should save this obviously in a larger size, maybe a thousand pixels. It's better to start with a large image and then resize it if you're using uh, WordPress. It's easy to resize images that way. Or if you know, you know, obviously, if you know your exact size that you want it, then you can just put that in there and then click save. And that's basically how you edit the canvas mockups. Um, not all of them use that's um, Photoshop action. Some of them are basically flat and they use a simple smart object. So to edit the ones that are perfectly flat like this that don't really show you a side or a bottom or any three dimensionality really um, you just want to click on this uh, small icon here and that will open this image and then I can go back to my example photograph and copy that double click on that smart object zoom out paste it in clicking on control T to resize it That looks really good, so I'm just going to hit enter to save those changes. Click on control S to save it. And then once you go back, it's made just like that for you. So it's really easy. There's not a lot of steps. Um, one thing I can say about uh, the ones that have three dimensionality to them, where they have, you know, they sh they're showing more than one side. You'll run into problems if you have any more than one layer in here. So um, what I like to do after I create one is just to close it and don't save this at all because you don't want this image to be saved here because if I go in and create another layer that's over this to try to make a whole new one, um, you'll probably run into problems. <clears throat> so basically um, you just want one image per canvas at a time and then uh, <clears throat> you'll want to close this and don't save it so that you can, when you start on a new canvas it'll be totally fresh and new so I'm just gonna click on no for all these so that's basically it um, I hope that helps you. All right, thanks.